The following is titled Shakespeare Overacted, in which I've decided to do the soliloquy from Hamlet, but overacted terribly, lousily, lousily, but my way. Here we go. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we in the heartache and the thousand natural shocks the flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, for who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pains of despised love, the loss of delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns the patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might as quite as make with the bare bodkin. Who would fortles bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death? The undiscovered country. From whose born no traveller returned. Puzzles will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus, conscience does make us cowards. And thus, the native hue of resolution is sickled o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment with this regard that currents turn awry and lose the name of action. <laughs>